Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to check for updates in Mac OS X 10.12 or the Sierra version. Now this is pretty much the same for earlier versions of Mac OS as well, but I thought I'd just do a brief tutorial just showing you guys how to do it if you were unaware of how to update because it's definitely a little bit different than the Windows operating environment. So we're going to start by going up to the top left and left clicking on the Apple icon. And then we're going to go down to the third option in the list where it says App Store. And you want to left click on that. So in this new window that appears, you want to go to the far right button at the top where it says Updates with a little arrow that's pointing downward. You want to left click on that. So this will begin checking for updates not only for your operating system but different applications that might be installed on it as well. So just be patient. So we can see there's actually a software update that is available for our computer. It will give us a breakdown of exactly what it's going to be updating and if you click on the little more button it will break it down even further and you can actually update for each specific one individually or you could just do one massive update by clicking on the update all button at the top here. So all you do would just be to left click on the update button. For example if we do the iTunes one. It will show you how large the update is going to be so about 270 megabytes. So normally you would just let this proceed and then you would just follow any instructions that came forth after. You probably would have to restart your machine. I'm going to cancel this because it is a very large download. But you guys get the idea. So again, if you want to do individual updates, you want to just break it down and then you can select individual ones. Or you can just left click on update all and it will update all available software. So pretty straightforward. I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.